What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to merge checkpoints with the actual virtual drives for Hyper-V. Let's say you'd like to permanently move one of your checkpoints to the original drive and use it as is. Or for example, if you've restored a virtual machine on a different setup and you're having issues, you may want to just explore the drive and pull out your updated files. This would usually be possible as you can navigate to where your virtual machine is, then just mount and interact with the drive directly, such as this. But if you try to mount a checkpoint, it just doesn't give you the option. And of course, opening it with something like 7-Zip, it gets pretty angry. We can actually merge these checkpoint files with our original drive and access the updated files without even needing to interact with Hyper-V itself. In order to do so, simply copy the path to where we are. So right-click and copy address once you've navigated to where your virtual drive is and of course all of the checkpoints. Now we'll need to start up a PowerShell. So I'll hit start and type in terminal on Windows 11. Otherwise PowerShell if you don't see terminal. If you open terminal, make sure it says Windows PowerShell. Otherwise from the dropdown, choose Windows PowerShell here. Now we'll type in the drive letter. In my case, it's H colon and hit enter. Now that we're in the H drive, we'll change directory to here. So CD space and inside of codes, we'll paste in the address that we copied. Now we're in the correct folder next to our virtual hard drive and all of the different checkpoints for it. In order to merge a checkpoint permanently with an original virtual hard disk file, we'll need to run a few commands. First, get hyphen VHD to get information on a virtual hard drive file, or of course, a checkpoint. I'll copy the name of one of our checkpoints and paste it in. If it has any spaces, I'll need to surround it in quotes. Now, as you can see, we get some information about the checkpoint or virtual hard drive file. And because it's got the VHD type as differencing, we definitely know that this is a checkpoint. Here is the original path of the checkpoint. And here is the original path of the parent drive. In this case, the full normal virtual hard disk. In some cases, one checkpoint will point to another checkpoint. And in order to merge it all the way to the drive, we'll need to merge the one checkpoint with the next, with the next, all the way until we can finally merge our merged checkpoint setup with the original drive file. That's it. In order to merge a checkpoint or in order to merge a checkpoint with a virtual hard drive or a checkpoint with a checkpoint, we'll need to make special note of the parent and merge the one into the other. To do so, type in merge hyphen VHD followed by hyphen path and the path of the checkpoint we want to merge to the next or to the original file. So I can copy all of this, right click and inside of quotes, we'll be pasting it in. If there's any weird spaces, just make sure to fix them. Otherwise you can copy just the name of the file itself if you're in the same folder. So just this, then space hyphen destination path with a capital D and a capital P. And once again, inside of quotes, the full hard drive name. So this here, I'll then hit enter. And as soon as we do, it'll start merging our checkpoint with our original drive as such. If you see any errors like this, simply just read through them to see what could be causing it because it's already in use. It means that I either have one of these files mounted or of course the virtual machine is running. If you can't get rid of these errors, simply reboot your PC and most of these should vanish if there are issues with using the original file. If for some reason you find errors about internal errors or something like that, there may be an issue with merging the file and you may be doing it in the wrong order or something else went wrong. As we're merging in a destructive way, overriding the original files, I'd highly recommend backing up this entire folder here just so this issue doesn't arise later. Let's do a successful merge with this basic hard drive here and the one checkpoint file just to show you what it looks like. So we'll merge VHD path is our checkpoint. So this one here, space destination path and the original hard drive file or checkpoint we want to merge it with. And just like that, it'll go ahead and merge them. Depending on the file size, it could take quite a long time to complete. But when it's done, you'll notice that the checkpoint is missing and the original virtual hard drive file was edited now and likely probably a lot bigger. That's it. At this point, we'll be able to boot up the virtual machine or explore the drive as we would usually. And we'll be able to see all of the files inside of it. That's it. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.